Hey guys, and as always, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, today's video is going to be different. It's not a lingerie try on haul. I decided that I wanted to talk about when I was a stripper. So that's what today's video is all about. I will be talking to you guys about when I was a stripper. I was also a dancer. There is a slight difference. And I'll just be telling you guys the pros and cons and all of that. Because I think, you know, some people might want to do it. And I know when, before I decided I wanted to be a stripper or dancer, which I actually was a stripper for a very short time. I was a dancer for a longer time. I did YouTube videos about pole dances and just when you first go in there how to be I looked into all of that so I just want to share my experience with you guys so that's what today's video is about so if you haven't done so yet make sure you click that red subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss my future videos and if you're watching you might as well hit it so if you don't know the difference between a stripper and a dancer a stripper is someone who when she is on the pole on stage dancing, she can take off her top, she can even take off her bottoms, which again, I was a stripper for a very short time, maybe three months, not even. So there is a difference between being a stripper and being a dancer. I know in my state that strippers, they can take off their tops and their bottoms. However, the club they are working on is not allowed to serve alcohol. It's a BYOB at that club. Again, this is only in my state. I know in other states, it is completely different. So when I was a stripper, I would take off my top and my bottom, but they didn't serve alcohol. Again, I only did that for a short time and I did not make a lot of money. So as a dancer, you keep everything on, you keep whether it be lingerie or dance where you're staying semi-dressed <laughs> and that was something even though i am a nudist that was something i did like plus it just made i feel like i made more money being a dancer because of the whole tease effect you know you can't take it off though you the men want to see it you can't so you tease them a little bit, and I did learn how to tease while I was on the pole and stuff like that. But we're getting off topic. <laughs> so there are pros and cons to being a dancer, of course. With any job, there's pros and cons. I danced for four years, and I made great money. I made great money. I think I made great money good enough my minimum was a thousand a week that was my minimum I was not bringing home less than that so if I really wanted to work hard but then again I didn't do pole tricks and also the club I actually worked at was a little hole in the wall it was not nice the clubs you guys are imagining are probably extremely nice high-end no I worked at I worked at like the club had holes in the floors I had fallen like I have fallen on that floor before in heels and it was just it was it was a little it was a little rinky dink place but I loved it there one of the reasons I really loved it guys would say I was like a diamond in a rough there and my stage name was actually Jem so it kind of fit <laughs> um I I don't know why I picked Jem but that was my stage name so I made between a thousand and fifteen hundred a week and that was good for me but it was also a huge confidence boost that was one of the reasons I decided to start dancing and if you want it for confidence go for it like it's it can really lift you up but I believe it can only lift you up when you first start because when you first start you're the shiny new toy 
everyone wants to know you. Everyone wants to have a dance. Everyone wants to talk to you, buy you a drink. You're the shiny new toy. So if you're just doing it to boost your confidence, to feel good about yourself, that's completely fine. It's one of the reasons I did it. I was picked on, I was bullied. I wanted to feel beautiful. I did this job. But again, if that's one of your only reasons, only do it for like three months, maybe a month. Three months tops. Don't go longer than that because I know you can also lose yourself and lose value in yourself if you're doing it too long. And I do feel like I lost value in myself. So I am happy I got out of it when I did. I value myself a lot more now. When I worked as a dancer or a stripper, I didn't do pole tricks. I did floor tricks and it took me months to learn those. It was, it was fun working with all the girls. I finally had girlfriends. So that is another pro I would say about it. There are some girls who there are no friends in that business, but where I worked, we were friends. You know, if you're there just to make money and there's nothing wrong with that, if you're like, I don't care about you, I don't care about you, I'm just here to make money, not friends. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. I just wasn't that type of person. Just, you know, you gotta be ready for that because I have gotten into fights with girls. I have seen other girls pull out knives on each other. It gets crazy back there. And you just, that's something you need to be ready for. If, you know, you're just not. I, I always keep to myself. No matter what job I have, I kind of like to keep to myself. I'm a super shy person though. Another thing I did before even auditioning to be a stripper or a dancer, I bought a pole and I had a boyfriend at the time. I kept it at his house and I used to practice there. And my neighbor, gave me some stripper heels and I used to just practice at his house. So that's something I would do if I were you. I would practice walking in heels. Even though my club was a small hole in the ground and maybe I didn't make as much as most dancers or strippers, they probably make like 500 a night and I was making like three a night. I don't regret any of it. What I regret from that time, honestly, the one thing I regret and wish I could take back, I wish I would have saved that money. That's probably my one piece of advice. Don't go crazy and spend all that money. Save it. Especially if you're like 22, because that's what age I started at and dancing for four years. I was living at home. I could have saved all of that and I could have literally had a condo, a new car. That is a huge piece of advice I have for anyone who's thinking about being a stripper or a dancer. Don't spend it all. At least save some of it. If you make a thousand a week, at least save a hundred. You know, give yourself 900 to spend, save 100. It's nothing, but it's better than what I did, which was below everything. Incognito one. You asked for another stocking try and haul and I'm gonna give it to you. I ordered some and I'm just waiting for them to arrive. So I do want you to know, I did hear you. I did place that order and that video is coming up. You also asked for a twerk video, which I will also be, <clears throat> which I will also be making, hopefully sometime this week. But I just want to let you know that is also coming up. I haven't forgotten about you. He commented and I try to keep in contact with you guys. Now, I just want to be better for you guys. I want to make every video the best that I absolutely can. I have ideas and I'm writing them down. I'm ordering stuff. But any other ideas that you guys have, any other video ideas, 
let me know. Nothing is too small when it comes to video ideas. So if there's something you want to see, please let me know. And I'll try to make it happen. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Queen Peach, you guys. I love you all so, so much. I hope this video helped someone. I really do.